The most direct route from Pattaya to Bangkok is simple. You get in your car and you drive for two hours on the toll road and it's done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But today, we're going to be taking the scenic route. But there's so much to see along the way that I think so many people miss out. So today, we're going from Pattaya to Bangkok taking the scenic route. Here's a few examples of what we're going to see today. So sit down and enjoy this ride from Pattaya to Bangkok, starting with one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen, which is right behind me, which is this beautiful image of the Buddha that's been laser printed onto the side of this mountain. So laser printed might be the wrong terminology, but they used laser technology, that's what I read online, to create this image. And the late king, uh, Raman 9, Bumibol, he named this, uh, this statue on, on the side of the cliff. I don't know if you can call it a statue, more of an image, because it's not really coming out of the rock, it's just on the rock, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And this area, which is just about 20 minutes away from downtown Pattaya, it's glorious. There's lots of little mountains here and it's uh, there's a big golf course and uh, a lot of Thai people come down here, especially now early, early in the morning, nine o'clock, and uh, come to worship and come to take beautiful photographs at this amazing image. And it's so scenic and beautiful, except there are like 10 people mowing the grass making an absolute racket so i apologize for shouting at you so it's very scenic but there's not much peace and quiet for me right now it's an absolute racket so let me just play some music and i'll give you some information because i can't even hear myself think <laughs> yes apologies for the noise from the gardeners they can't help it they have to do their work but there you are this is travel video making you have absolutely no control over the sound where you are filming <laughs> as usual so this is the Buddha mountain, or as the Thai people call it, Khao Chi Chan. And it's a fascinating story, guys. It was created in 1996 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the coronation of the late king, Rama IX, Bumibol. And they used a very cutting edge technology at the time. They used a laser to inscribe and outline this image of the Buddha itself. The guided laser technology that was used was the first of its kind and it was the first ever to carve an image of Lord Buddha himself on the side of a huge mountain. It stands at over 100 meters tall. And even today it's still considered the largest line-edged Buddha image in the world. And so it's a very important and permanent religious representation for Thai people here. And 20 minutes outside of Pattaya, it's worth seeing guys. It's an absolute marvel of engineering and beauty but after 20 minutes or so once you've admired it once you've taken in the scale of the place there isn't much else around so let's just jump straight on dreamy and hit the open rural roads which are my favorite roads here in thailand to drive On the north side of Pattaya is a small city that a lot of people miss on the way to Bangkok and it's called Siracha. Yeah, you can see it's quite big actually and it's right on this beautiful beach and it's really popular with the Japanese apparently. This is where the Japanese love to come to holiday when they come to Thailand and there's an island uh, not too far away from here where again lots of Japanese tourists go. And isn't this beautiful, this temple up here, 
with that beautiful white statue of the Buddha and then there's all these blue nagas and um, blue and green sort of aqua theme you've got fish here and fountains it's very beautiful and look there's a glass sphere here which is reflecting the city skyline and uh, let's, let's go a little bit closer and get a closer look at this this is quite nice you can also get blessings here from the monk and um, you buy a little lotus flower depending on the day of the week that you were born uh, there's two for Wednesday one for Wednesday and one for Wednesday night and then you can put some money on it and it will float around and give you good luck but let's have a little look at this refraction here can you see it if I put you away you can see it better right it's the city skyline and the ocean flipped reverse I'm not actually quite sure of the significance of that but there you go it's still quite pretty so Sriracha you're beautiful you're interesting but I don't have time to visit today but I'll come back soon the reason why uh, I'm on a rush by the way to Bangkok today is I was in Pattaya for six nights Unfortunately, I was a little bit sick. I've got a sore throat. Um, just had a bit of a man flu whilst I was there. So I didn't really get to explore that much. And uh, tomorrow's my birthday. And I want to be with my girlfriend and my friends in Bangkok. So, got to get moving. Unfortunately, but that's what happens when you get sick on the road. You just got to get on with it and keep going. <sighs> Beautiful spot. Right, the next place I'll take you to is another scenic spot somewhere along the way I'm sure we'll find some more on these country roads these rural coastal roads plenty of surprises to come plus we'll be going to our 76th province very shortly so this is province 76 Cha Chien Sao <laughs> I try I try my best this is an incredible place so this is a temple and uh, it's got a proper name, but its nickname is the Bat Temple because quite, you know, in keeping with the name, a big, I don't know if you call them a colony, I don't I know if you call them a troop or what do you call a group of bats, but a massive family of bats live here. And I wasn't prepared for how many. I mean, every single tree in this temple has one or two dozen maybe even more than that giant fruit bats they're also known as flying foxes because they're not like those little bats that you get you know these are huge and they're flying around but in general they're all just resting in the hottest part of the day and they seem to be fanning themselves I don't know if that's an automatic response that they can do when they're asleep because otherwise it wasn't, mustn't be getting much rest, so I would hope that they can just do that whilst they're actually sleeping. They're all just looking at me like, what are you doing here? Who are you? Let us have a sleep. <laughs> wow. Very cool, very, 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 very cool. Oh, okay guys, enjoy your rest. Um, th like, there's lots of beautiful um, buildings here as well, like especially this really old one. Um, but uh, I don't really. I'm not. I'm, it's so hot, and I just came to see the bats. And I've been here for a good half an hour, just staring at the way they they all flap around and fight about where to sleep. And some of them are just peacefully asleep, and the other ones won't stop fighting about where to sleep. Must be a stressful life, just trying to get a nap. Um, we're going to continue our journey in our 76th province. We're going to be heading to um, the coast on the way to Bangkok. This is the Route 84 bridge. It's just a more scenic route to get to Bangkok, guys. You just follow the coast here. Is it an original VW, maybe? Let's have a look. It might be. You can see the VW wheels. It probably is, right? One of the reasons why I didn't go to this province for so long is because I was too scared to try to pronounce it. <laughs> but it's lovely. You just drive along down this highway. You've got ocean on your left, ocean on your right. It's like a bridge highway. Much better than going on the toll road. You get to see the way fishing life. <coughs> 
Hopefully by the time we get to Bangkok, I've shaken off this man flu. Okay, so we're here at the last stop on our scenic journey from Pattaya to Bangkok. We're in the province of number 76. I still refuse to try to pronounce it anymore. Oh, someone starts soaring metal. What a classic. I've literally been here for an hour, having lunch, resting, having a nice cold glass of water or two because it's 36 degrees and nobody was doing any soaring, but obviously when you turn the camera on, there you go. Um, I was going to take you to this beautiful temple here, but um, I did some reading at lunch and it's famous because there's a lot of uh, Buddhist funerals taking place here and then a bunch of cars came and a hearse came and so someone's being buried or cremated um, as we speak. So I don't think it's a, the, the right time to go over with my camera. So I just flew the drone a little bit to show you the beautiful building and then I think maybe the remains go straight into the sea. Um, so it's a very famous um, temple for funerals um, because it's right here on the water's edge. And another thing that I was doing at lunch was just sat here at this restaurant that just overlooks this sort of like estuary, marshy, muddy area, but there's quite a lot of big mud skipper fish and they're just doing their business and I've just been staring at them. They're all flapping around, chasing each other. Really cool little species of fish. I think they're the only species of fish that can breathe on land and walk around. I've booked a hotel at lunch as well. Uh, I'll show you where I check in. It's going to be in Prom Pong district or just off the BTS near a sock. It's my favorite area. Um, well, I'll show you why. And uh, the room looks quite nice, so I'm hoping it's going to be good because I've booked four nights there for tonight and the next three, including tomorrow, which is my birthday. I'm going to be 36 tomorrow. Jesus. <laughs> it's been about, I think, seven weeks since I left Bangkok. In fact, one of the last videos I made here was right here on the left at Mark Weens's head mark. Remember that when me and Gary did some food video there? And then two more stations on the BTS at Prom Pong, turn left. And my hotel's called like the Hiat or something. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Big day, big day on the bike. Here's the room, sofa bed, nice big double bed, mini fridge, telly, what's the view saying? Non-existent, never mind. Ugh, that was a long day guys, I'm not going to lie. The scenic route, it's beautiful, but it takes eight hours. <laughs> On Dreamy, everything takes a long, long time. Anyway, I'm going to take a couple of days off. I'm going to enjoy my birthday and um, right now I need a shower and I need to sleep. I've got to have a date with this. <laughs>